Greetings to you. What you have here is you've batted around my geek box. This is my geek box for June 2021 being unboxed by geeksubscriptionbox.com. My geek box being one of the long established geek boxes in the UK. Well, I suppose I guess its name is my geek box. And surprisingly, it is a geek box, but it's quite, quite big this time around. They're medium weight. Um, and as I say, it's been quite bashed around. It's a little bit rattly as well, which uh, you won't be able to hear there, I suspect. But I can feel the content moving around. So let's um, let's take a look. Let's get rid of quite a lot of packaging material. And we've got four items, some pixels and some ships. I know what they are because I've seen them before. But let's, um, let's start off with... Uh, this one, which I have seen before, because it was also in the, the previous month's box there. What are the, or, well, one of the previous boxes, I'm sure I've had it this year sometime already. What are the chances to get these quite nice figures, but get them twice? Well, unfortunately, with my geek box, you do tend to get duplicates every so often. But this is a Big Bang Theory. This is Sheldon and Friends. Uh, I, I know that is Flash Sheldon. Nice logo there. I like the shape of these. I like the fact you get a whole collection of four of them together in one box. But as a duplicate item, there's not much more to say about it. It's a pity, really, I couldn't have had set number one, which is also available. But uh, they're they quite, they quite collectible as they go there. And I've had far worse sets of figures than those ones. Uh, but here is a pixel. It must be the same set. Same same size figure, I think, maybe slightly bigger, but one I recognise straight away from perhaps the uh, one of the greatest films of all time, Back to the Future. It's Marty McFly. So I've just got one Marty McFly, this nice square shape, definitely new to me. Really looks the part. Always have Back to the Future items there. Um, yeah, who knows what other ones are in the set. That's what normally you look at to see. There's, there's always a, a Doc Brown, isn't there, for these things to go with it. But um, made and produced from, from Barcelona, by the look of it. So it's so interesting. They are possibly imported in um, in Barcelona, in Spain. Who can, who can tell? But um, yeah, nice enough item there. And we're going to finish off with what are going to be two Star Trek ships. And I know they are because I've had a, a few of these uh, in boxes before. And I think there's about 50 or more of these to collect. This was one of these sets where you subscribe. You get a new one sent to every fortnight or every month until you built up the whole set at some quite huge price. These are not cheap to buy um, individually and build up your collection. But then the remainders end up in these boxes. But unfortunately, the way they end up, they would have originally been accompanied by a little bit of a magazine or a bit more of an information sheet. But they're less obvious when they're as to which ship it is. And I'm afraid I do not know all my Star Trek ships by sight. Hope that never comes up as a round in a pub quiz or something like that. We've got this quite, um, quite nice design, obvious clues on this one as to what it is to go with it. It may, sometimes they say on it, um, this one... This one doesn't. Could be from any of the major Star Trek franchise series. Let's uh, let's just look underneath this. Now, oh, this is apparently this is the USN, USS Enterprise. There, um, made in two thousand and seventeen. Uh, yeah, well, it possibly is. Maybe it's just the the green and the shape that didn't come across quite like that. But there we have our. Our first of two ships, and there's going to be one more here. Uh, no duplicates, by the way. I'm sure I've not had these before. I don't know if this very, this very reddish brown or bronzy brown type coloured one. Again, are you shouting at the screen saying what this particular ship is? There probably won't be any great clues. So let's do the same trick and see if it says at the bottom inside all this, um, all this plastic. This is the Vicarolus. Um, Romulan. Oh, I can't always remember these, but there we have it. Probably pronounced nothing like that. Probably you can say it's Klingon or something, but there we, there we go. I'm sure for the review at GeekSubscriptionBox.com, I would do a little bit more detective work and just try and establish which these ships are. The reviews always end up a bit later in the videos for obvious reasons. There, but quite a nice, uh, nice box if you like your bits of display items here. There, no key rings or anything, which is always good to see. 
So this is my Geek Box for June 2021, unboxed by GeekSubscriptionBox.com. Let's run through then these two ships again. There, the ship there, we've got the USS Enterprise in one of its many incarnations. And then these, these pixels, we've got the single one, Marty McFly, uh, possibly my favorite item of the month there. Even though these ships are a lot more collectible. And then the, the duplicate item of what are these very nice pieces, but they are for me a duplicate. So thanks for watching. As I mentioned, do check out geeksofprichtionbox.com. We've got many reviews and links to other videos. You can also join the YouTube channel and the other social media, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Lots of links around if you want to find out more. And do leave your thoughts. Always a pleasure to hear from you. So thanks for tuning in and taking the time and speak to you again with another unboxing video very soon.